hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is vincentia welcome back to another vlog so happy easter holidays well they're finished now but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it and celebrated the birth the death and the rebirth of jesus christ so today i'm going to be doing a vlog on baking uh whole days are over i'm going back uh to Mpumalanga where i stay i was home in Limpopo. So, pega um power, you know. You know, after holidays, uh, Easter holidays is as good as after Christmas holidays. You need those cakes, those biscuits to keep you going until end of my life. So, let's go. So here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. You're gonna need 10 cups of flour, which I'm gonna put in this bowl. And we're going to need two and a half cups of sugar. I'm using white sugar because I feel like it's uh, sweeter than brown sugar. If it's brown sugar, I usually use about three. And then we're gonna need four eggs. We're gonna need, um, this is 500 grams of ramen margarine. Other people use wooden spoon or whatever uh, margarine that you prefer. I'm gonna be using rama. And I'm gonna need um, four cups of mass or ingomasi, whatever you prefer. I'll be using 10 teaspoons of baking powder and just a little bit of salt, two pinches or so of salt. And then, yeah, I just realized that I ran out of uh, vanilla essence. So, let's get right into it. So, I'll be going in with 10 flat teaspoons of baking powder. Other people use bicarbonate of soda, but yeah, now I love salt because of the salt. So now I'm going in with my clean hands to mix all the dry ingredients together. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my margarine. The margarine must be room temperature. And then you're going to mix it until it becomes very crunch. Don't forget, it's 500 grams per 10 cups. So obviously you want to break it down. That's going to be easy for you to put it all together. So you mix, mix, mix. Don't forget, you mix until it becomes very crumbs before you can add your other ingredients. See, it's almost there, but not yet there. Mix until your hand is tired. <laughs> So once it becomes your breadcrumbs, you're going to add sugar, eggs, three grains that are left. And also I've learned that when you make, uh, maybe let's say now I was doing 10 cups, but let's say you decide to do eight cups with 500 grams of margarine, they become more softer, you know, more juicier. So sometimes I just drop it and use few cups of flour and more margarine for that softness man. you know people from Pumana would know exactly what I see now my flour is like breadcrumbs so now all the ingredients are mixed together the butter is now melted right into the flour so I'm gonna add my sugar and mix again until it also blends with all the other ingredients that are in here guys baking is a job and a half i specifically don't like baking but time to time i do enjoy baking my sister loves doing it so actually she's the baker and i'm the chef i like cooking i like the unfortunate part about me loving cooking is that i don't love cooking but I, i'm not i'm not that big you guys my future husband just know you won't be eating pap every day sorry because your future wife don't like cooking, cooking pap and then after here i'm going to so now i'm gonna crack four eggs into a bowl make sure that your eggs are nicely cracked there's no uh what do you call them eggshells because woo, you don't want to chew a, a cake and then next thing there's the egg yolk in there, not yolk, the egg shell. 
and you will use the appetite shrimp. You know, you beat them nicely until they are, you know, all mixed with the egg whites and the yolk. And then, you're going to shake your mouth a bit so that all the water and that little fat mixes together. It's a cup, so you're going to add four cups. Obviously, my bowl is small, so I'm just going to add two cups in here. Then I'll add two cups straight into the flour. Yeah, I know I should have used a bigger bowl. But oh yeah, like I said, I'm not passionate about baking. <laughs> so you can mix them together until they blend, 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 blend. You know the trick with makeup, with uh, foundation and makeup is that blend until it gets together, until your hands is painful. So I guess with baking as well, it's, it's that method to you, 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 what you call, you whisk, you mix and everything until it makes sense. You know, it's all together and then you're going to pour it all at once in here. So remember, I still need to add those two cups of mass. I'm just going to add them on top of the mixture. Does it, is, is it just me or, I mean, there's just something refreshing about is eating mass alone in a, in a cup, you know, after your meal, after a heavy meal expression. I love mass. I eat mass for no reason, even alone. So you mix it, you mix it, you mix it, you mix it. And it's so refreshing touching this uh, mass mixture because it's soft, it's cold, so it's very refreshing. As in purple, it's hot. People from the Capricorn will tell you it's very hot. I am, I think, about two or three hours away from Zimbabwe. So we are next to the equator. It's hot, it's hot. But now it's a beautiful weather in June, in winter weather, because there's no winter. There's not really that coldness that you get to experience. In Kecha, it's very nice. So Soft, oh my gosh, this is so soft. You'd swear it's not those breadcrumbs that you, you you saw earlier on. See, it's very soft and neat. So you're gonna mix it together until you're satisfied. And then you're gonna mold it into circles. Off you put it to your tray. Grease your pan. I grease my pan with the paper yamajari. This process is so that the scones or the how doesn't stick on the pan when you remove them. And then you must make sure that your dough is this thick when you spread it. You know, this is how I spread it with a little bit of uh, flour on top just to spread it. But make sure it's not thin so that, you know, you have that thick, nice cut. And then I'm going to use this cutter, but I really don't like shapes. So I'm just, I'm just going to make a few. For my kids because you know how my cookies are ready in the pan now i'm gonna use one egg and uh, oil on the side to brush them off on top so they have that crunchy crispy look on top so you're gonna brush them on top with egg not a lot you don't want to be eating eggs on top of the scones <laughs> egg scones well, maybe that's a good concept. Um, I'm sure it exists some way, I think. So you're just gonna brush them on top. Pause. And then obviously it's a little bit of oil on top. Not too much, guys. Just a little bit of oil. And you know that oil sits too much on the brush again so you need to at least spread it between few cookies yeah and then that's it we're going straight to the oven now our tray is ready our oven has been preheated for the past what 10 15 minutes at 180 degrees and then it's on at the bottom and underneath Mazish. <laughs> 